Okay, this is a video response from my southern brother down in Florida, Darren, who seems to be having um, some thumb, thumb downs, I can't even say it, thumbs down issues and some negative comments. Um, like I was saying, somebody's doing the thumbs down, somebody's getting their rocks off on tweaking him. And I wish when it comes to that he wouldn't take it so seriously because someone is screwing with him. Okay, I don't think he deserves it. Um, but I could tell you, I'm not going to say I'm in his shoes. Um, maybe I'm in his shoes in the automotive mechanical end of it. You know what I mean? A lot of years in it, trained by professionals. Uh, we've taught and passed our craft along. And then you turn around and you get people, I mean, it's not any different from these people with the comments and the thumbs downs and all this stuff as the problem having with the kids at work that just, they're dopes. You know what I mean? You, you step back and you say to yourself, Jesus Christ, I've been doing this this long. I'm willing to give you a free education and this is what you're doing to me. You know what I mean? And, and it could, it could definitely be a problem. That's why you get pissed off. That's why He's offering you the video. He's offering you his knowledge. Okay, you don't want to watch it. Watch something else. Watch Tom and Jerry. Watch whatever you want to watch. But why do you sit there and give him a thumbs down and then comment on it? Well, at least he gets the comments. I just get the thumbs down. But why do you do it other than to piss him off? I mean, I know a lot of people in the world that I can walk up to you and say, that's silver with, with little raises on it. And they'll tell me, no, that's an off gray, and, and there's nothing raised up. This is countersunk. And you look him in the face, and you're like, what the fuck? What is wrong with you? I mean, I have close friends that do that to me. It's just the way they are. But like I've said before, then leave the channel. Move on. Annoy somebody else. This guy's trying to give you a free education. And I'm going to give you a perfect example of what, in my end of it, I think what pisses him off the most. This is what I'm going to give you an example of. This is book. 1970 American Motors book. Written by American Motors. Or at least the engineers in American Motors. Okay? There's their motor. V8 motor. And no guys, the 390 AMC is not a 390 Ford. Just like the 360 AMC, which is the same motor, isn't a 360 Chrysler. So, you can understand how that pisses me off, but we'll get past that. This is the same thing. He takes out the text sheet for you guys for the Bondo because there seems to be an issue on what you could do with Bondo. Okay? He doesn't make the Bondo. You don't make the Bondo. I'm not making the Bondo. Somebody somewhere in a laboratory is making the Bondo. And they're making it to certain specs and it's going to be used for certain things. Period. If you want to go above and beyond that or try with it, that's fine. But don't don't voice your opinion on something you're experimenting with and not the facts. And I'm going to give it to you right here. Right here, V8 engine 304, 360, 390. Okay, we're going to go right to... Uh, what was I going to go to? Next page. There you go, something we can all relate to. Tightening the cylinder head. Okay, according to this, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You get the idea. The reason they give you a torque sequence is, is they want to take the cylinder head as well as the gasket and take the metal and push it outward. Because if you push it inward, it'll ball up. You might not see it by eye, but you're going to take this gasket material. It's just like for your body, guys. It's just like you heating the panel and shrinking it. You beat it in a circle and beat it inward, and it shrinks the metal. You're good. This is the same principle. So if this was one, two, three, four, I'm going to take my gasket. I'm going to slowly push it inward. And then there's going to be a problem in the middle. This takes it and you need it outward. Okay? These numbers here were put here by the manufacturer. Period. As well as the number of 105 to 115 foot pounds. Okay? Written there. Just like me looking in the book in this bondo saying, okay, I could put this thing on direct metal or I could put this on primer. This is what the manufacturer says because of their testing, they say this is the ultimate thing. Or the optimal thing. Can I tighten this one first and that one first? Yeah. Will it work? Probably. But is that what the manufacturer says you're supposed to do? And I think that's the point behind it. 
I could tighten this however I want. I could tighten it to 20 foot pounds. It might work for a year I sell the car, two days later it blows up, who knows. You understand what I mean? Yeah, it worked for you that day. This is the way they want you to do it, okay? And it's funny, whenever you talk to anybody about automotive, they never, ever dispute using a torque sequence on the cylinder head. They put an intake manifold on however the hell they want. Same with, same with a header and exhaust manifold. But they never seem to dispute this. So why when somebody pulls out the tech sheets and tells you what you can do and can't do with the Bondo, as per the manufacturers, why do you break his balls? And I think that's what pisses him off the most. He's giving you a free education. Now if someone emailed me right now and wanted to know the torque sequence from an AMC right here and I did this, there you go. You asked me, I gave it to you. It's that simple. To me, it's black and white. It's black and white, guys. Oh, I dropped something. And I think, and I think that's what's escalated the situation to where it is. Now, for all the people like me that want to see his videos, as well as, I mean, I could sit here and name people. I mean, getting back to that, I turned on my computer last night. I had 376 emails. Okay, so there were guys I haven't responded to yet, and I hope they don't think I forgot about their channel or just don't want to do it. As of last night, at 4 o'clock in the morning, or this morning, at 4 o'clock in the morning, I was down to 99. And that was just go answering comments that people commented to me and watching a handful of videos. That's all I could do. Okay, I'm so far behind. But the reason I don't just check them all off and delete them is I want to see the people I subscribe to. Not to break their balls. You know what I mean? I want to I wanna see what Darren's building with the Volkswagens. I want to see what our peak's building in his house. You know what I mean? Whether it be he putting windows in or taking the rat rod for a ride. I want to see what uh, Stolbolt 50 is doing to the truck. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what the wrecking yard is going to do to that truck or that, or that, uh, the chair that he's working on. And so on. I and mean, I could just keep naming names. I mean, 63 Impala up in Washington with his fires. I want to see all that. Uh, I don't want to see the fires, but I want to see if he's okay. You know what I mean? And, I mean, I could just keep rambling on names. Uh, Josh down in North Carolina with the Rambler just put the flames on it. I want to see how it's coming out. I want to see if he's having problems. So I don't blow these people off. It's just I haven't had time to get to you. And I'm not going to just check it off and walk away. Now I'm going to go back in the house later because I'm going to be gone for the day. I made a very small video last night. And I'm sure I'm going to have a bunch of comments on there. And I'm going to go on there and I'll probably be up to... Between people making videos and my comments, I'll be up to 150. And I'm going to be sitting there with my eyes rolling in my head saying, Oh, man, i got to catch up. And it's like, it's like missing your favorite episode of a show. Or they cancel your favorite episode. You know what I mean? It's not fair. <laughs> and I don't want to see that episode down there in Florida canceled. So, well, that's my opinion on them. It is what it is.